Hey, hey, YouTube, what is up? Yu-Gi-Oh! Day has come and gone, and with it, a large tournament happened, and my friend Rob was skilled enough to actually top and get second place in the entire tournament out of about 30 people, which is damn impressive. This is his deck profile. He got second place. If you want to see what the first place deck profile looks like, don't forget to look in the description for my friend Alex Exodia Man's channel. I'll put the link to the first place deck profile that he posted in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and don't forget to click subscribe and share some love with Rob for for his ridiculously beast Odd Eyes Pendulums deck. Me with Rob on VMD TCG's channel. I got second place at, at Royal Collectibles, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. So it's my profile. What, 30 people? I think it was like 25 to 30 people. It was, it was brutal, but I got this. So we're going to start off with Odd Eyes Magician. Three Skull Crowbat Joker. Best, one of the best cards in the deck. Having the ability to search any magician just puts in a lot of work. Three Wisdom Eye. Without this, you really don't have like plays in my opinion, because this is how you get consistently to all your skills. One of my favorite um, magicians, Oath Dragon. A lot of people like the level one, the what's it called, the Dragon Pulse better. I like this better on my scope because it gives you your advantage back, so it just comes up a lot more. Three Dragon Pit. You lose if you don't can't get to this card. Like a lot of people, I've seen Pills play that too, but in pure Odd Magician, you need that three. This card, it was okay. It was okay. It just it won me my top four against the Knights because he made Rafflesia and a set and another monster. So you just put this in my scale, pop the Rafflesia, and just go off. Noble Dragon to make the Odd Eyes Meteor Burst because the card's fucking amazing. Shut up. <laughs> for them, uh, then that's it for the magician. Then they play three Odd Eyes. Um, just a beat stick and a searcher for your magician cards. Ready? Triple, my respect to Unicorn Kieran. I've won so many games just because I've dropped this card. Like, a lot of decks can't out. Like, again, I've won my top four matches because I dropped this card. Um, then, an engine that a lot of people have started cutting, but I disagree with that completely being the Perform Mages. Three damage juggler. Then, its targets being one Mirror Conductor, one Trick Con, and one Hat Tricker. Um, damage juggler is just like, it comes up a lot so you don't lose the mirror match to Wavering Guys. And then, you play these three to search. This card was okay. Okay, I searched a lot though just to ditch off a of Dragon Pit. This card, this card was usual, and then this card was the best card in the deck. This is the best one because it lets you play through back for a lot better. And you know, most spoils will spoil out. Then I played two hand traps, being two maxi and two hand traps. This is just standard in like any deck right now. That's up in the monsters. I don't feel like counting because too many. I think it's like 30 something. And it is allowed. Um, spells, I played three pendulum call. Like Mike said, Rodon crack. Three wavering eyes. How you'll win the mirror match in my opinion, but I got I sided it out a lot. I play one Skyris to protect my skills. One Raigeki to OTK, and then I play Instant Fusion because it extends your plate. No one just extends your plate. And then I played Song Morning as my trap. That was the main deck, 40 cards. This extra deck was one, the one Noden. Um, I didn't play Odd Eyes Fusion, but I played Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, mainly to summon it off of Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon as a good floater. And it's a fact against Cosmos, just like really good. One Meteor Burst, I really wish I could find room for more for, more room for this card to play it like two, but it's just like, I don't know. I, like, I want to find room, but then again, I don't want, I, like, it's good at one. Uh, I play one Dweller because Mermail's a thing, and also against um, the Mirror, I guess like uh, their perform mages like Trick Clown or Hat Tricker. Uh, trick Cloud comes up. Diamond Dyer, just so I can play through back row. My baby, my Castell, I've won so many games just because I, I spun back scales. Um, one Honor Arc. Karen Gorgon, because I side a bunch of floodgates. Trap these Magician to OTK. Um, then Ptolemyus, Diamond, and Pieties. Um, I didn't play Infinity mainly because one, I couldn't get my hands on it, and two, when you play Infinity, you have to play a little bit more trap. And I felt like Pleiades was a little bit better just so because you can make this and then just play around its already established board. Even though Infinity can do the same thing, but I just like I prefer Pleiades in that my opinion. Then I play three sevens. I play one big guy, one Draco sack, and then Otis Absolute Dragon Pro Tears. And I'll just die. I'll probably get changed when I get home. Um, so I had three MST. Sorry, one of them's common. I couldn't get my hand on second super. Um, double dark hole because you just you basically you lose to like a board decks up leave up like established boards like Rafflesia or even Dark Law. 
Uh, three Royal to Creek, because trap decks suck. I was gonna do Denko's, but the thing about Denko is that, like, if you draw multiples, it's really, really bad. So I felt like drawing multiple to three would be a little bit better. Three Iron Wolf for Cosmo, Infernoid. I'm actually really scared of the Infernoid matchup. I don't know why, but I just really am. Uh, two Grand Horn for the Pendulum matchup. And then one Dust Tornado, because I wanted four MSTs and I could get my hand on Twin Twisters. And then I one Venny's up to get people excited up. Thank you, man. No problem, bro. Well, that's it for this deck profile, and I gotta say, this is one of my favorite builds for Odd Eyes Magicians. Just straight Odd Eyes Magicians, not Magic Spectre Magicians, which is my favorite Odd Eyes variant. This deck has plays for days, though. It has beat my anti Metis of Teller Knights time and time again. I really do have a tough matchup just going up against him because he knows the ways the Teller Knights plays and he knows how to play around them. He has plays for days. That's basically the best way to put it. If you want to see the first place deck that actually beat Rob's Odd Eyes deck, you can look in the description below for my friend Alex Exodia Man's channel. I'll link the video so you can click it and see what the first place Pepe deck looks like. You can actually hear in the background, if you're very astute, that deck profile happening. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, at Schwabs, if you want to know when I post these videos, or like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash The Vinny D Show. Thank you guys again for watching, and don't forget to click subscribe, because it's free, it's fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.